use this example to help you to understand the norms. Okay, now we need to find L1 norm, L2 norm, and L infinity norm, the three norms for the vector x. Okay, it is a three dimensional vector with three components minus one, two, and four. Here, t means a transpose. That means x is a column vector. It's okay for you? Okay, now let's practice. Okay, you, you, you should remember, L1 norm means total score, but you should note the total score we need to compute the absolute value, then compute the summation. It's okay for you? So, for x1, uh, L1 norm, for x, this vector, it should be minus 1 absolute value plus absolute value of 2, just 2, right? Plus absolute value of 4. So, the total score, okay, the L1 norm is 7. Okay, don't make mistake. Um, okay, don't compute like 4 plus 2 minus 1. That's, that's wrong. Okay, you should understand, you should remember always with by absolute value. It's okay for you? So, total score by absolute value. This is L1 norm. It's simple, right? Okay, let's consider L2 norm. L2 norm, okay, the formula is the square root of summation, right? Square summation. So, minus 1 absolute value square. Okay, in this case, okay, uh, the absolute value of a square, a square of absolute value is same to the a square directly, right? Okay, so in this case is one and plus the two square, so it is four plus four square, sixteen, right? Okay, so it is the square root of twenty one. It's okay. So okay, the norm, right? Now we call the name by L two norm. Okay, for L infinity norm. That means the best score, right? The best score also you, you should note by absolute value. So absolute value of minus one, so it is one. Absolute value of two, it is two. Absolute value of four, it is four. So you need to choose the best score. Of course, it is four, right? It is four. Okay? So infinity norm. Are you okay? This is the three norms. Okay, in addition, in addition, now let's practice another vector by 500, zero, zero. 500, zero, zero. okay, now you see, also special vector, now, which, okay, now for L1 norm, for L1 norm, now you see the total score, right, like this, so the total score, the summation of absolute value of 5, plus zero plus zero, so it's just five, right? It's okay. And for infinity norm, the best score, of course it's just five, right? Also, we can consider, we can consider the two norm. Okay, it is the square root of five square plus z square plus zero square, right? Then it's just five, right? Now you see, five, 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 okay? Okay, now, now you see, let's compare uh, y and x. Now you see, if we choose L1 norm, so by L1 norm, then we know 7 is bigger than 5. So in this case, x1, uh, x, the 1 norm, L1 norm of x, bigger than the L1 norm of y. It's okay? But if you choose infinity norm, infinite norm, then here, you see, x infinite norm is 4, 4 is less than 5, so in this case, the infinity norm of x is less than the infinity norm of y. Now you see, you obtain different result. Okay? We don't make a mistake, we just choose different rule. Right? So you use different rule. You can, uh, if you compare different vectors, you, you can use different rule. 
but maybe you will obtain different results. It's it's not uh it's not wrong, right? Because it is not a contradiction. Because we just use different rule. It's okay.